the concept of zeros and ones catching in circuits let us observe the circuit diagram for zeros and ones catching now when you observe we have consider sr flip flop to master <coughs> and slave now you can observe the circuit diagram here the clock of the first flip flop sr flip flop is connected to the clock of the second sr flip flop through a not gate and you have considered two and gates wherein one and gate input is j and the other and gate input is considered to be k the other end of the and gate is connected to here it is connected to q output and the j other end is connected to q bar so this is the circuit to another understand and analyze zeros and ones catching now let us observe carefully the circuit diagram here at the time t is equal to t1 time t is equal to t1 the clock input here the clock input as well as the j input are at logic 1 now you can observe here the both clock input and the j input are at 1 when at the time t1 before the time t1 it is 0 here no it is 1 in this case but when we go to time t2 here in the second case time t2 here both j as well as k is equal to 1 and clock is also 1 so when we know that when both j is equal to k is equal to 1 generally the output will be our output will toggle it is toggle state now so when our output toggles qm is equal to 0 at the instance t2 now here what happens the slave which follows the master during the falling edge but since we have considered the value of qm here changes from 0 to 1 that is 0 to 1 the qm value here from 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 vice versa at the same clock pulse whenever we applied the one which is generally marked here the one sketching which is the ones which is marked in the waveform will be lost why it is lost since the slave the slave cannot follow the master at this stage as you can observe since the data which is available at logic one is lost so it is called as one sketching so that is what we understand as one sketching if you observe carefully in the waveforms similarly with respect to zero sketching now let us see the waveform of zero sketching here in this case again initially when k is equal to 1 in this case k is equal to 1 qm sets to be 0 you can observe here it is set to be 0 and at time t2 here when the same condition j is equal to k is equal to 1 and the clock is 1 again the output toggles and becomes 0 but what happens in this case is the zero which is generally not taken up by the slave and this is lost in this case so this is called as zeros catching so this is the whole concept of zeros and ones catching thank you